Hi, this is Gabriel Castro from ExoticWoodPen.com. Welcome back to my shop. This video, I'm going to be talking about a pressure tank that I just made. This is a homemade pressure pot, or not a pot, that's why I'm calling it a tank. It's long, it's about 27 and a half inches total, a uh, four inch pipe. And you can see this end unscrews. And uh, I'll show you how I put that together. So to build this, to build this pressure tank, uh, I've got a two foot long piece of four inch PVC thick gauge. I have an end cap on one side, and then I have a female end cap with a male threaded insert, threaded here for the, this also, that's gonna go in there. And then I'll use some Teflon threads. I've got some, uh, black ABS cement, which I'll put that all together with. And to fill it, I'm gonna use a tubeless tire valve. So we'll go ahead and put the basics of this together. So assembly should be pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna glue these ends on. I'm going to apply a liberal amount on here. Crap. So I didn't want to have it drip all over my floor. It's okay though. And we'll let that set. I also have a couple of these wooden cutouts to stabilize it, which I'm gonna glue on the bottom like that after I get this put together. This is the cap assembly screwed in. Okay. With that here, this is the, the valve stem assembly that I showed you. Now I drilled a 29 64 inch hole, put a little uh, bitter oil on this, and then pulled it through with a pair of channel locks, and uh, that sealed up really well. Let's put a little air in there. Oh, before we, before we do that, I use this nylon tape. I tried several different uh, Variations of tape. I tried the yellow tape for the gas lines that I mean it's thicker But it didn't work very well because it was too thick. I tried uh, There was another type for a water line a little bit thicker version that didn't work. This is this is just regular uh, regular nylon thread P TFE thread which is for also for water. This is the thinner stuff I use, I wrap this three times around, you know, and um, that worked great. One and a half, it just bled out really quick. Three times around, uh, over the course of an hour, I lost five pounds of air pressure. So for me, that's pretty good. Now it does say online, you know, don't use the, 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 uh, the plastic. Uh, PVC plastic for uh, pressurizing the air well we're using ABS so it's not PVC even though PVC is pressure rated ABS is only a drain pipe and it's not pressure rated so don't you shouldn't be doing this I shouldn't be doing this but this is the only thing I could find to work with 
the mold that I'm working with, uh, is, the mold that I have is uh, 16 inches. So this is 27. This is giving me uh, extra depth to work with. This is the whole length of the mold, as you can see here. And my mold, or the length of the, of the pressure pipe. And the mold is gonna sit inside and sit way back from here. And you can see where the valve stem is. So that when I fill this with air, uh, I won't need an air diverter on the inside. Uh, that's just going to go down, fill the chamber, fill this up, and it won't affect what's the what's going on on the inside of this here. I was going to fill this vertically, but decide against it because I didn't want air bubbles traveling from the back end all the way to the top. So I figure air bubbles, if they're going from the bottom from the bottom up, it would be a lot easier. So I'm going to fill this horizontally instead. As far as what going, going to tell how much air pressure I have, I'm keeping it simple. I'm just using an old fashioned tire gauge like, like I use on my car. We don't have uh, tire pressure gauges sticking out of, our, out of our rims. So I figure, hey, you know, I've been putting air in tires for years. I'm gonna just gonna play, play it the same way. So uh, I've, I've played filling this up a few times or practice filling it up and it's usually about a 10 second count my uh, compressor is already charged so I'm just going to count that's 40 so I'm going to pressure by pushing down on it that's 35 that's 40 and that's 35 that's 30 so anyway Okay, so you get an idea of the length of my next casting will be for my steampunk uh, turning tool. So that'll fit inside there nicely. Anyway, that's it. If you like it, give me a thumbs up or subscribe. Have a good day.